हॅलो एव्हरी वन आणि नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर सुदर्शन संभाजीराव पेडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ झुओलॉजी कैलास शिरसिका महाविद्यालय देवणी युअर झुओलॉजी कंपेनियन अँड वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी कम्प्लिटेड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कार्बोहायड्रेट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कार्बोहायड्रेट ॲज वेल ॲज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कार्बोहायड्रेट सो टुडे वी विल फोकस ऑन नेक्स्ट चॅप्टर इट इज द प्रोटीन्स इन द प्रोटीन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स ओके लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टुडेज लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आय क्लोज दिस विंडो बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज इंटरप्टेड टू अवर लेक्चर क्वेश्चन मे आर आईज इन युअर माइंड वॉट इज प्रोटीन प्रोटीन इज अ नायट्रोजिनस केमिकल कंपाउंड वॉट इज मीन बाय प्रोटीन द नायट्रोजिनस केमिकल कंपाउंड कॉल्ड प्रोटीन ओके अँड इट वॉज फर्स्टली प्रपोज बाय बेर्झिलस अँड यूज बाय मुल्डर इन एटीन फोर्टी ओके so proteins are the most abundant nitrogenous chemical compounds of the animal body it is a important and essential biological macromolecule macromolecules okay proteins generally occurring in all cells and parts of cells okay and in one single cell found thousands of different kinds of proteins okay and protein is a molecular instrument why we call it as molecular instrument because they have genetic information they expressed from one generation to the next generation okay that's why we call it as proteins is a molecular instruments okay and proteins can hydrolyze into the amino acids okay in that proteins are polymers of amino acids okay and the and they are joined together by peptide bonds or covalent bonds okay we know very well that is the 20 amino acids naturally found and that 20 amino acids we call it as it is the building blocks or body building blocks okay from these building blocks different organisms can make diverse products as enzymes hormones muscles sorry muscle fiber lens protein of the eye milk protein feathers whey proteins these are the proteins generally found in the male cats will as muscle hormones okay and feathers these are the proteins in our body okay here i have added one more important function of protein is some protein have other protective functions that is snake venom and plant toxin to protect from other species snake venom is a very important for to protect snake okay and plant toxins is also important to protect particular plant species okay another that is as well as the in the human body protein plays an important role that is uh, blood clotting protein to um, protect the vascular system why because if it is absent in blood clotting protein that time continuous hemorrhage is there okay it means the uh, coagulation or clotting of blood is not performed without blood clotting proteins okay and as well as antibodies and protein antibiotics also protect us from the disease 
ओके नेक्स्ट दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू केमिकल कंपोजिशन द प्रोटीन्स हैव बीन डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप ओके प्रोटीन इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप फर्स्ट वन इज द सिंपल प्रोटीन सेकंड वन इज कॉन्जुगेटेड प्रोटीन एंड थर्ड वन इज द डिराइव्ड प्रोटीन्स ओके इन द फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट सिंपल प्रोटीन इन द सिंपल प्रोटीन क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कोएगुलेशन एंड सोलिबिलिटी ओके क्लासिफाइड इट क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू सब टाइप्स दैट इज द फाइब्रस प्रोटीन एंड ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन ओके देर आर वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ फाइब्रस प्रोटीन दैट इज द नंबर वन इज द कोलेजिन सेकेंड इलेस्टिन एंड थर्ड वन इज द कैरेटिन and another that is the globular proteins is also the various uh, there are there are two forms is there that is the albumins and globulins okay these are the two forms of globular proteins as well as fibrous proteins okay another next one is the conjugated protein is there okay conjugated protein in that according to the नेचर ऑफ प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप दे हैव फॉर्म ओके फर्स्ट इज द न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीन सेकेंड वन इज द क्रोमो प्रोटीन थर्ड वन इज द ग्लाइको प्रोटीन फोर्थ फॉस्को प्रोटीन एंड फिफ्थ इज द लिपो प्रोटीन ओके दट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ कॉन्जिगोटेड प्रोटीन ओके एंड इट्स टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द prosthetic nature of prosthetic group okay and last third type is the derived protein in that is also divided into two types that is the primary derived proteins and secondary derived proteins okay this is the one particular tree diagram of classification of proteins okay so next is the we will see thoroughly one by one first is the simple proteins simple proteins are occurred naturally and yield only alpha amino acids but on the basis of their coagulability co sorry their the, their coagulation by heat and solubility they are further classified as two sub types that is the first one is the fibrous protein and second is the globular protein in the fibrous protein fibrous proteins is a insoluble protein and these proteins play a supporting role in the animal body there are various forms of fibrous proteins like collagens elastins and keratins okay in the collagens are chief supporting sclero proteins of vertebrate integuments and endoskeleton as well as tendon okay it is a one particular chief supporting sclero protein and that support to supporting to the integument generally in the skin okay found in the skin as well as endoskeleton and tendons also okay this protein next is the elastins elastins is is composed of thin elastic and branched fibers and this protein is found in the walls of arteries ligaments and areolar tissues okay we know very well arteries arteries is the muscular blood vessels okay and that carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to the body okay oxygenated blood is a transfer okay or oxygenated blood carry from the body that is the arteries okay and 
these elastins found in the walls of arteries ligaments and areolar tissue next is the keratins keratins form of animal skin horns wool nails and other skin appendages okay keratins generally found in the skin also horn horns means shing in marathi wool nails and other skin appendages it contain keratins okay keratin protein okay. another second that is the globular proteins it is a water soluble proteins most of the proteins belong to this group some of the important globular proteins are the albumin and globulin okay first we see that is the albumin it is a simple water soluble protein of animal and plant origin okay this albumin protein is originated from animal as well as plant body okay for example egg albumin lactoalbumin serum albumin are the animal origin we know very well albumin found in the egg as well as albumin found in the lacto as means the milk okay as well as in the serum okay contain albumin that is this albumin is the animal origin albumin okay and while the leguminin of peas and leucosin of wheat are the plant origin albumin okay under the leguminin and leucosin is a it is the plant origin uh, proteins okay another next that is the globulins globulin are easily coagulated by coagulated by heat and slowly soluble in dilute solution of salts okay globulin is the easily coagulated by heat and slowly soluble in dilute solution of salts okay for example which type of globulins found in the uh, plants as well as animals also in animal globulins are egg globulins serum globulins fibrinogen myosin and these are the animal globulin okay the it uh, in the egg also globulin is found as well as serum contain globulins as well as fibrinogen fibrinogen is the one for protein generally this protein found in the coagulation of blood or clotting of blood okay another that is the myosin is also globulins okay these are the animal globulins okay. these are the animal proteins okay and that of vegetable origin are legumin turbin and edistin okay these, these are the these are the vegetable originated okay or the plant originated globular proteins okay another next is the prolamine and protamines okay the common prolamines are gliadin in wheat and zein in corn and maize okay generally this gliadin and gliadin generally found in the wheat okay this protein or uh, prolamines are uh, found in the wheat also okay that is the gliadin and zein in corn and maize also okay as well as horidin from the barley okay this is these are the or uh, sorry prolamines okay and salmin is the protamines okay and they are found in the salmon sperms okay and the next globular protein is the histones okay histones are soluble in water and dilute in the acid and it is a uncoagulable in on heating and are predominantly is it is a basic na basic in nature okay 
they yield a large amount of diamino acids on hydrolysis examples of uh, histones are globin of hemoglobin and histones of uh, nucleoproteins also okay and another that is the next protein is the glutilins and glutilins are the common proteins of vegetable origin which are insoluble in water and salts but are soluble in dilute acids and alkalis okay this glutilins is insoluble in water and salt but are soluble in the acids and alkalis also okay they are coagulated by heat for example uh, we know very well uh, generally wheat contain very large amount of glutenin okay the glutenin and uh, in uh, rice also contain orexin these are the globular prot proteins that is the glutilins also okay so today we completed the tree diagram of proteins in the tree diagram we will see here is the simple protein conjugated protein and derived protein and today we completed only one type that the simple protein in that fibrous protein globular protein we completed today this is it for today okay remaining parts we will see later on thank you thank you very much